Dealing with Dell's inane customer support sometimes just makes me want to just take this pen and shove it up my nose and then pull it out of my ear. Ooh. Or give up. Just know that if you continue, if you persist, if you be an edge case like me, <laughs> you'll get customer service satisfaction eventually after two years. So this is gonna be a review of the Dell XPS 13, the 2015-16 model. This is a, a free replacement of my XPS 12. And I love this because it was one of their first touch screens and it does this sweet, you know, conversion into a tablet thing. I really fell in love with touch screens because it just increased my productivity quite a bit. And it's also gonna be a review of Dell's customer service. Terrible as it is at times, but then ended up with a nice resolution of a free $1,500 computer. <laughs> well, it was under warranty support, which I paid for, so yeah. Let's unbox this thing. Outside the unbox is still looking for knife sponsors. Wow, this thing is small. We've got some cords. Oh, I love the size of this power brick. That's a tiny power brick. I love it. I can't believe how tiny that is. Look at the size of the box that my XPS 12 came in. <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be good. Smell that. That smells good. Oh, that is beautiful. I love this thing. It's so tiny. My XPS 12 is a lot bigger. Thank you, Moore's Law. A lot of people online on YouTube and forums are complaining about how it's difficult to open the XPS 13 with one hand, but I'm about to show you that it's not that difficult. Just look how easy it is. See? That is all screen. Ivy Lake. Sky Bridge. Wait. Sky Lake. So this is an i7 Sky Lake processor. It's got the QHD Plus screen, which not to be confused with QHD with phones, which is quarter high definition. This is quality high screen plus. I don't know why they named it that, but this frame is super minimalist and thin. It has a five millimeter bezel. That's small, but it's, it's not like you need to know that in a normal conversation. I don't get a lot of people coming up to me and saying, hey, that looks beautiful. How many millimeters is your bezel? All you need to know is that it is a well-optimized piece of technology with all the standard ports and a super high definition screen in a tiny footprint. While this computer is downloading its updates and stuff, let me just explain to you how did I get this XPS 12 for free. People ask me, why do you buy Dell? Dell sucks. Well, computers break, hard drives fail, and graphics cards crap out on you. Oh, there it is. Dell is the only company that I know of that has the Complete Care Accidental Damage Warranty, where you can literally drive over it with your car and they'll replace it for you. The only time they won't replace it is if they see hammer marks or some obvious intentional damage. Hello. I always buy that extra protection warranty because if you drop it, if you go swimming with it, any accidental damage is covered and you usually only have to pay a nominal fee like 50 bucks or sometimes for free in my case. Sorry, you're not getting my pin. If they don't have the computer anymore, they're gonna give you the next equivalent value of what it was when you bought it. Oh, uh, what? Was that right away, right off the bat? <laughs> I got a Windows error. In 2013, my XPS 12 was about $1,500. It was uh, at the time an i i3, but now this is an i7, overclocks at 2.2 or something gigahertz. So I recommend that you buy the Complete Care Warranty with Dell. Wow, I just love this computer. Oh, these little carbon fiber pieces here. What happened with mine was about a year into using my XPS 12 in 2014. What did they do? It started to be really slow and sluggish, constantly like maxed out at using 99% of the resources. So I called them up and I got the tier one customer support. This is the most frustrating part of, of dealing with Dell and Apple and stuff that just, and it's because they make it so hard for you to get customer support. 
The long wait times, the accidental disconnections, every little thing that they can do to frustrate you out of the funnel, out of the customer service funnel, they're gonna throw that at you. Customer service resolution through frustrating you out of the funnel. Just know that if you continue, if you persist, if you be an edge case like me, <laughs> you'll get customer service satisfaction eventually after two years. But then you gotta think, is it worth that time and stress and aging and hair loss and everything to, to get a new computer? Hell yes it is. I'll just breathe in that gratitude, make my heart feel nice and warm for Dell, that I finally got some good service from Dell. Cortana, a MacBook Pro can't let you be like Vin Diesel saving the moon from Transformers. That's the proper reference, right? I'm not available in your region. What? If you're not American, just go to your settings and change your region to USA. Now you've got Cortana and you can get back to saving the AllSpark from Thanos, just like Master Chef did. I know this isn't a review of Windows 10, but just as a side note, I didn't find Cortana all that useful. That. What can you do? Maybe it would be more useful if I had a Windows phone. <laughs> yeah, right. All this basic stuff like weather and calculators, I'm just gonna use my cell phone for. How much money has Star Wars made? For an AI assistant, it's still pretty primitive. It makes you manually look at information with your eyes. If I wanted to read a book, I'd just boot up Audible. What is my processor speed? If you've actually found a good use for Cortana, please comment and tell me. Ah. Tell me about my computer. Ah. One Bitcoin to Canadian dollars. One Bitcoin equals 560.65 Canadian what? dollars. What? Yes! I'm gonna buy so much beaver syrup. My biggest complaint with the XPS 13 is the tiny delay it has when trying to use the touchpad. The mouse doesn't respond instantly when you touch your finger to the trackpad, making precision clicks really difficult for common things like closing programs, clicking links, and editing. The fix is to go into the touchpad settings and change delay to short or none. But as you can see, the mouse is still not responding instantly when I'm moving my finger. After a couple of weeks, I guess you build new synapses and your brain gets used to this. But it's something I never have to deal with using a MacBook. It just feels so much smoother. And speaking of MacBooks, the two finger scrolling is decent, but it's nothing compared to the buttery smoothness of sliding your fingers on that big MacBook trackpad. I saw some people complaining about the keyboard flex, but that's more of an edge case complaint than even I, Brad, the edge case experience Mills, is willing to get behind. I love XPS keyboards. Starting way back in 2009 with the XPS M1340, one of my favorite things about them was the beautiful backlit keyboard that was just perfect for nighttime writing. The keys are generously spaced for such a small form factor, and I was able to get a decent score on a quick typing test. Dell has done a great job with the touchscreen. Scrolling is much smoother, and in terms of general user experience, the touchscreen is just a much better interface method than the trackpad. If you're in the market for an XPS, definitely upgrade to the touchscreen model. The next thing I want to talk about is the battery life. It's pretty decent, and yes, I have a beard. It's a 52 watt hour battery life. It says it's gonna last you about nine hours, but really it only lasts about four hours. I've been using it for a month, as you can tell by this lovely Sasquatch beard. And it's not like I've been using really intensive programs like video games and editing on there. I'm just using Facebook and doing random work on the internet. I'd say four hours is about a good estimate of what you're gonna get out of this, maybe five. Nine hours? I don't think so. In terms of portability, I take this thing everywhere. And a lot of the times I don't even take a bag, I just grab it. It's so small. You don't need a charger. It's It's been really awesome actually. People complain about the webcam placement. And I don't really think that's anything I want to complain about. Unless you're a cam girl and then you don't want unflattering shots. That up angle, the double chin, quadruple booby. You don't want that. You'd think for a next-gen system, the XPS 13 would have a faster boot-up time. Maybe it's because when I close the lid, sometimes it actually just shuts down completely instead of going to sleep, so when it restarts, it's actually doing a fresh boot. On the other hand, sometimes it does the complete opposite. I'll be finished work for the night, it'll be at 75%, so I'll close it, put it to sleep, and then when I wake up in the morning, it actually has been on all night long and it's completely dead. That brings me to heat and comfort. Now it's not as hot as my Alienware or any of my other laptops, but it does get pretty hot on the palms quite often. And since it doesn't properly go to sleep and sometimes it stays on all the time, 
it's always working, the fan's always on, and I'm frankly paranoid that it's gonna be dead on me, so I'm always leaving it charging and plugged into the wall and I'm not using it. But I'm not sure if these inconsistencies are a fault of Dell's or if it's a Windows 10 thing. I have seen a lot of people complaining about this on Reddit and forums. So, yeah. As a big fan of the Dell XPS line of computers, I'm gonna give this a really strongly two-thumbed recommendation, even with these edge case problems that I've been having with it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, please like and comment if you thought things to, to say to me, and subscribe because that's what you're supposed to do if you made it this far. The review is over, but if you do want to see the rest of my customer service experience with Dell, keep watching and I'm going to play the rest of it after the uh, ending boxy logo. Uh... So it's 2014. I couldn't get anywhere with the tier one reps in Philippines or India. Called like three or four times, nothing. The chat support guy helps me out and tells me to run a diagnostics. I do, I run the diagnostics and it shows that there's a hard drive failure. Yes, I can update this thing. The hard drive's failed. He had me format the hard drive and he said that to really get rid of all the problems and make sure it was a fresh install, I should delete all the partitions, install Windows 8 on the new partition. That sounds like good advice, but remember those green stickers that used to be on the back of your computer? They're not there anymore. There's no sticker anywhere. There's no Windows key. So he had me delete my partition that had stored the Windows key on it. So I had this USB key with Windows software but no key to activate it because the partition was on the hard drive that he had me delete. This was obviously an edge case again, a scenario they're not used to. So trying to get resolution to something like that was difficult. I ended up getting frustrated and gave up and started using a MacBook. This thing just sat around for about eight months to a year. I mean, I got busy. I didn't want to deal with this anymore. I remind myself when I buy things in two years, like your warranty's expiring next month. So make sure to get through my service. I mean, outside the unbox tip for you. So the notification came up, reminded me that I have to resolve this. So I went on Twitter and I tweeted at Dell Cares Pro. And I just explained my frustration with not being able to get customer service through the phone number, through the live chat. I don't have the partition that has the Windows key on it anymore. I can't install Windows. And nobody was willing to take it further. At Dell Cares Pro, was awesome. I love those guys. That was like the best customer service experience I've had with Dell. A rep, I think his name is Jay, he like took me under his wing to resolve my issue and he took responsibility for it and he followed through, he called me on the phone, like he made sure that I got resolution. He ended up scheduling a rep to come to my house and install a new motherboard. So instead of giving me a Windows key that would cost like 10 bucks for Dell, they're willing to send out a rep to come to my office and give me a new motherboard. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way they do it now. So the rep came out, she was just so pissed off. She did, <laughs> she did not want to be there because these are really small computers. And she's like, I don't like taking these computers apart. I'm just gonna give you this key. So, and she just gave me a, a Windows 8 key from her suitcase. <laughs> I was like, well, I appreciate that, but Dell's gonna upgrade my motherboard to an i5 from an i3. And if I ever have this problem again, I don't wanna go through the entire process. I'd like to have it tied to properly to the motherboard. So could you please just install this free motherboard? And she was pissed off and she just started like, going like crazy on the screws and like, I don't, I don't wanna be here, this is so stupid, you already have the key. I felt bad for her, but at the same time, I didn't wanna have to deal with this anymore. It's been a year and a half. Just please give me the motherboard that you have in your hand right now. That's gonna make my life a lot easier. She opened up the computer and she said, oh, they didn't give you the heat sink. So then she just all pissed off, like tears it apart and then puts it back in and takes her screwdriver and goes like crazy and then she leaves. So I tweeted at Dell Cares Pro and I'm like, can I please get another technician to come to my house and fix this computer? So they sent out the manager technician for my area. He came out and he discovered that she stripped the screws because she was so pissed off she just stripped all the screws so he couldn't get the case off so he calls up i guess their customer service they said sir we can't honor the warranty because this is out of warranty now 
And he was saying, yeah, it's out of warranty now, but just for a matter of customer service and satisfaction, let's deal with it. So it just goes to show you that those tier one reps just don't have the power to solve your problems. And frustration is part of the funnel. They want to get you out of there. Even the technician was having problems. It wasn't just me. But finally he pushed them to it and then they said, okay, we'll do it. We'll accept this and we'll repair it at the facility. So I was thinking, great, I'm going to get it fixed. Finally, this was about two months ago. A couple weeks go by and then my awesome Dell Cares Pro rep calls me and says, Mr. Mills, I'm sorry, but we don't support Dell XPS 12 anymore. You son of a bitch. And he said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you a new XPS 12. Ha bam, finally, that's resolution. I appreciate that. I'll just breathe in that gratitude make my heart feel nice and warm for Dell that I finally got some good service from Dell. So now I have this brand new XPS 13 because I told them I don't like the new XPS 12s. They're not actually attached with a hinge. They're just more like tablets that you can take out of a keyboard case. And now I got this brand new XPS 13. I'm just, I'm just very happy with that resolution. In the end, if you don't give up, you're probably going to get a satisfactory customer service experience from Dell. One Bitcoin equals 384.90 US dollars. <laughs> Thank you.